back to my channel. Ooh, how y'all doing? Yes, we is back with another video. We back with another video and we back with a new year, y'all. I am like overly excited right now. I know y'all probably like, girl, calm down. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. So currently it's 9.30 in the morning. It's Friday. It's New Year's Day. Like new year's day so this is day one okay this is the first vlog for the first day of the year clap it up for us y'all we made it okay we made it 2020 is gone 2020 was crazy now it's time to make a new goals new experiences new ventures new people new new vibe i mean new everything it's a fresh slate so anything you had in the past Leave that shit in the past. <laughs> and we starting fresh, y'all. I got to update y'all. I got a video that's coming out really soon to give updates on what you can expect from my channel from this point forward. Because when I tell y'all, I got some shit in the works for y'all. Okay? So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Also, turn on, no turn on your notification bell. Okay, so that you be notified every time I post. Right now, I'm about to go to get some breakfast with my sister and her best friend. Um, Tanise, y'all actually saw Tanise already. Uh, she was in a true for drink video. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here, y'all, spread some good vibes this morning, some good energy. It's a new year, fuck the past, and let's just get it, okay? Let's get it. This the year for y'all, okay? This the year for y'all. Y'all do y'all shit, y'all shine. Be positive. Keep negative people away. Keep negative energy away. Keep negative friends away. Keep negative relationships. Away. Keep negative shit away. <laughs> I see y'all in a minute at Bay Local. I'm hungry. Oh no, I want that one then. Banging bones, what I said. It's on an Yo, I was looking at them last time. The pecan cinnabon. Oh my god. What you gonna get eggs on the side? That's why I didn't get it last time. Cause I was like, she said it was really sweet. I was like, yeah. I had got the, the buttermilk pancakes. They was good with some eggs and some bacon. So what, is the squiggly the one like their signature or something? See how some of them got a squiggly line around it? I wonder if that's like signature ones. Ooh, cheers. So cute. It was like wine. It do. It kind of tastes like a little wine. Fancy. Mm. Huh? Anyone set out any goals for the year? Not yet. Really? <laughs> do you at least have a goal that you want to lose? 
50. That's a lot of weight. That's where I used to be. You a fucking, but you grown now. You want to be as small as you used to be when you was younger? No. You are an adult. Because 50 pounds, bitch, you will be looking thin. So you cool with your diet? Yeah, that's that's a stretch to me. <laughs> Thirty. Okay, that's. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Thirty. You'll see a good one. Hit me, girl. You might be looking sick. But you're kind of short, though, so. So I look even bigger. I understand your point. <laughs> I get it. For sure. Yeah, I want to do the Power Bowl. Scramble heart with cheese. You have cheddar? Yes, and I want turkey bacon. Yes. Just in case y'all did like the food that y'all saw. Oh, uh, let me put on my seatbelt. Safety first. They was good. Um, I tried something different this time. Hold on, y'all. Click it or take it. Woo! Uh, okay, so anyway, yeah, I tried something different this time. Last time I had got pancakes, eggs, and bacon. And then this time I got some kale, eggs, turkey bacon, and then some spinach and crab dip. The spinach and crab dip was really good with the pita bread, but I try not to eat so much of the bread because it's bread and I'm trying to cut back. But the kale, the spinach, I mean the kale, the eggs, and the turkey bacon wasn't that bad. It just wasn't as seasoned, but I'm, I'm happy to know that I got some greens in it. Anyway, I'm not too full, 
So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna chill for a little bit. It's only 12 o'clock, and um, probably watch a little bit of Netflix or something. I don't know. And then I am going to the gym today. Make sure if your goal is to you know lose weight or start working out more this year. Make sure y'all start the year off right and go to the gym today or either get some type of active doing in, even if it's only 30 minutes, try to do something um, to set your year off right, you know? So, i see y'all when I get home, and yeah, peace. Hey y'all, so we have just arrived at the dollar store because it's some stuff that I gotta get for the house. I figured to take y'all in the dollar store with me. So this is a few things I gotta get. Excuse me. Okay. So the goal is to get paper towels and um, it's some other stuff I gotta get, but I think I remember after I see it you know you know how it come your memory come back once you actually in the store because right now I can't remember I know for sure I need paper towels okay even though it's smarter to get like paper towels that's like more than one in the bulk for now, I'm going to make a stupid decision and just get a bunch of dollar ones. I think it's a limit, though. Oh, no. It used to be. Maybe I should have got a cart. But then if I get a cart, that means I got to get more shit, right? <laughs> right. Sorry, y'all. I had to put my mask back on all the way. Make sure when y'all wear your mask, y'all wear it over your nose and over your mouth. But yeah, they don't have the deodorant. They don't have the deodorant that I need. So I guess this is it, y'all. Hmm. Maybe I should get some mints. <laughs> Ooh, should I get some mints? Yeah, I'm gonna get some mints. All right, y'all, I thought I was gonna get a lot. I'm literally coming in here and get exactly what I need. Thank you. Have a good one. That was easy. I gotta get deodorant, but I'm not going to Walmart. I'm sorry. Like, even though it's across the street, I'm not going to Walmart, y'all. I hate going to Walmart. It's like a love-hate relationship. Wait a minute, Tiger. You ain't about to get me copyrighted, Tiger. But, um, yeah. That was another thing I got to do when I get home. I need to start washing. So, when I said I'm going to go home and do nothing, I lied. <laughs> I lied. I got to go home, wash, and then I'm going to go to the gym after I wash. Um, hopefully, by the time I go to the gym, everybody already got their New Year's uh, workout in. You know how New Year, everybody be at the gym? Yeah, hopefully. That's why I'm trying to wait a little bit. Let all of them go first. And then I go. Because <laughs> I feel like it's either going to be packed in the morning time. I'm not putting that seatbelt on. I'm, I'm, I'm only going down the street, okay? Either it's going to be packed in the morning time at the gym or it's going to be packed later at like 7 or 8. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I go about, mm, about 4, 3 or 4, 4. 
because it's almost one right now and I got to go home and start washing clean up so probably like four I go to the gym so I see y'all when I get home I'm gonna smoke the hookah in between washing my clothes I'm gonna also watch some Netflix so yeah it's gonna be a little vibe with me today y'all um I ain't do much went to breakfast um wash clothes watch Netflix smoke hookah go to the gym today is Friday I don't think I'm going out today though because um I'm actually starting this new thing I'll tell y'all about it when I get to the house because I'm tired of holding this camera but yeah I'll see y'all in a minute Y'all, anybody else got one of these UE Mega Boom things? Hold up, let me sit y'all up real quick. One of these UE Mega Booms, y'all. Look. Mm, critical battery, please charge. <laughs> Yo, I hate this thing. Like, I wouldn't say hate, but every time I try to use it, it's always dead. I know I, it's my responsibility to charge it. But damn, bitch. Every time, though. Like, God. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, um, I got the hookah coal burning. Let me show y'all which ones. Y'all know I y'all know I smoke the hookah. Like, look, these ashes are from the last time I smoked the hookah. Judge your mama, bitch. But let me show y'all the ones that I got real quick. Hold up. Let me sit y'all back down. Okay. So these are non-nicotine. No tobacco, no nicotine, no nothing right so as y'all know or if you don't know i love smoking the hookah i think it's not even a i wouldn't say i'm addicted to the nicotine though i think matter of fact i don't call it an addiction at all i just really like smoking it and most of the time i smoke it out of boredom if anything you know what i'm saying um or when i go out i just want to smoke the hookah just to feel like i'm doing something when i'm really not but because i don't smoke weed so it's like the hookah be making me think i'm doing something even though it is technically nicotine in the, in the hookah that i was smoking so technically it is something going on and it's giving me a buzz but it ain't what weed would do but anyway that's the besides the point the point is i feel like the more you smoke it <laughs> the more you're smoking nicotine the more nicotine the more addictive it's going to become i don't want anything to be addictive to me Okay, the type of person I am, I want to always remain control of my mental state, control of my my actions. So, not fully control, but you get what I'm saying. So, that's my whole point in getting the non-nicotine. Non-nicotine, no tobacco, no nicotine is in these. And it says it right here for anybody in the, in the comments. Like, oh, yes, it do. You just, well, it says that it ain't no nicotine. <laughs> And it says no tobacco is cane, molasses, glycerin, honey, and flavor. So it sounds like a lot of sugar. Smoking sugar? <laughs> At this point, I'm just smoking motherfucking flavored sugar. Um, but nah, for real, y'all. So we're going to try these out. I had them before. This is not my first time trying um, non-nicotine for my shisha. It's just that... I was so, I didn't know they sell these in the store. Usually I order these off of Amazon. But they actually sold it in the store, so I grabbed them. Oh, I also wanted to talk to y'all too while I put this stuff up. Matter of fact, let me sit y'all up here. I'm going to sit y'all up here for now. Y'all see my background all junky. But I don't care though, because guess what? Judge your mama bitch. That's going to be my favorite. Yo, when I come out with some merch, y'all, that's what it's going to say. Judge your mama bitch. Because <laughs> ah, that is my favorite thing to say. I feel like, look, who are you to judge? Okay. And yes, y'all, on my refrigerator. Sure is. So, as I always say, almost every vlog y'all see, I'm going to have dishes in the sink. Because I hate washing dishes. But the good thing is that I'm about to switch them out. You know, I'm, 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 I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You know? So, 
I guess I can't listen to no music. Oh, so I also wanted to talk to y'all too about this challenge that I'm doing. So basically what it is is that um I only wanted to sit matter of fact I'm gonna sit y'all on a on a on my desk when I talk to y'all about this because um you know I don't need you on a refrigerator while I'm talking about something serious. <laughs> well not serious, but you get my point. Oh, matter of fact, let's sit y'all right here. Boom. Okay, so basically, I wanted to talk to y'all because I'm doing a challenge, okay? And by the time this video goes up, the challenge has already started because it's literally starting right now. I just came back from getting breakfast and I had a mimosa, one mimosa, but it was still considered, it's still considered alcohol no matter what. No excuses, right? So, I'm not going to say every year. I think I only did it for one year so far, but last year I did with my sister and I think my mom did it too and my some of my sister friends I can't remember everybody that did it but I know for sure my sister and I gotta watch the stove my sister and my mom did it with me last year I did 30 day what the fuck why do I keep hearing some noise <laughs> y'all that's the only thing about living alone you be hearing shit anyway so it's 30 days, no alcohol. And to be honest, that's not a hard thing to, for me because when I drink alcohol, oh, that's this. As I keep rubbing up against it, this. Anyway, I, I don't drink a lot of alcohol. I don't think, I wouldn't consider myself drinking a lot of alcohol. I do drink alcohol for sure, but um, I'm not like an excessive drinker. You know what I'm saying? But I do drink. And I do like to go out. So every time I go out, I drink. <laughs> so I need to kind of like, I wouldn't say detox, but just give myself like a little break off the liquor. Because as we all know, liquor is still sugar. Liquor, you can gain weight as well. And with me getting back into my habits of eating right, you know, the liquor is not going to help. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of defeating the purpose. Plus, I want to lose 10 pounds. Um, 10, or 10 to 8 pounds. Right now, I'm 172 but is more solid than fat, which is good because last time I it was 175 and it was just straight fat. It was no muscle because <laughs> I was not working out at all. So it was just straight fat all over. Now I'm kind of like full, but still kind of, you get what I'm saying? Like solid looking, not flabby looking, but I don't, I want to lose a little bit of weight. I don't like how I look up top, you know? I like the bottom, the thickness at the bottom, but up top, got to slim down. I like me a smaller up top. Right now, I feel like I'm looking a little broad. But anyway, um, I want to lose 10 pounds, so I'm going to cut out the alcohol for 30 days, y'all. Starting right now, it is currently 1.01 p.m., so this is when we start. And I put it on Facebook, I put it on Instagram. If you're not following me on social media, make sure y'all go follow me on social media. Um, I'm active almost every single day, if not every day on social media. So make sure y'all go follow me, all positive vibes, um, as it is with my channel as well. So if you guys want to join me, you might be a little late on the on the um, train because this video is going up after it's already started. But if you want to join me on the 30 Days No Alcohol, comment below and say you're joining me. You know what I'm saying? We're we going to do this together, okay? Right now I got some wine. Um, matter of fact, I'm about to show y'all real quick. This is the wine I have right now in a household. And the reason that I'm okay with this being in a household is because this is going to be my test. Okay? This is going to be my test. I'm on camera with y'all right now. So what I'm about to do is mark where it began. Okay? That way, when I come back on camera 30 days from now, and y'all be like, she really didn't drink none. Now, I want y'all to trust me now because I don't want nobody to be like, well, technically, you know, she can buy another bottle and put the same mark. Nah, we ain't doing that, boo. Ain't, ain't no need to cheat yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's how you won't get no results cheating yourself. Don't cheat yourself out of life. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is where we are starting as of, what is today? one one. 21. I got to get used to writing that. 
121. So yeah, so as y'all can see, it's a line going all the way around on where it start, where it stops. So that's gonna be my test. Honestly, y'all, this is not hard <laughs> because my mental is already there. Y'all, I actually like this non-nicotine better. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! They big clouds. Two hours later. Okay, so my clothes is washing. I'm gonna put a timer on my phone so that I know when to change out the next load. So that was 30 minutes. We're gonna use a timer in the kitchen since I'm right here. Put 30 minutes on the timer. Okay, so when that goes off, I know it's time to switch out my loot. So yeah, y'all, I'm about to chill out. I'm still smoking my hookah. What's up, y'all? So it's been some hours, man. Your girl fell asleep. <laughs> I was washing clothes, y'all, and fell asleep. But like I said I would, I am going to the gym. It is six o'clock, so it's later than what I wanted to go but it don't matter because I'm still going. Before I actually go, I'm gonna go get some Starbucks because I wanna be up kind of late tonight, um, getting some things organized and situated. Um, try to be a little more organized this year, so I'm trying to start it off right. Even though it's six o'clock in the afternoon, I should have been did this, but I fell asleep. So we still gonna get it done, that's all that matter. So from Starbucks, I usually get a venti um, vanilla cream cold brew and then I get pumps of chai, pumps of toasted white chocolate sauce, pumps of um, creme brulee sauce, which is a lot of sugar. So even though, <clears throat> like I said, I'm cutting back a lot um, on you know the carbs and sugar and stuff, I'm not cutting back on my Starbucks, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm not cutting back on my Starbucks, but instead of doing the venti i'm gonna do the small <laughs> so that's a cutback right that kind of that kind of is a cutback but it does keep me woke i will say that so um it's it's dark outside so i shouldn't be vlogging and driving right now plus i got my light on for y'all and i can get pulled over technically so i will see y'all at starbucks for a brief second and then I'll see y'all at the gym. I need to also make sure the gym is actually open. But I think the gym is always, always open. I don't know. I see y'all at Starbucks. Yo, I was just thinking, y'all, like, what if I told myself, even though I'm not, <laughs> what if I told myself that I would not eat Chick-fil-A for a whole year? <laughs> How stupid would that be? You know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck makes goals like that? Make sure y'all are making achievable goddamn goals. Because, baby, I love to eat. And I love Chick-fil-A. Okay? But while I'm on this 30-day no drinking, I'm not eating, eating Chick-fil-A. Because 
Chick-fil-A was the reason why I had them back rolls back in 2018. On top of everything else I was eating. But I'm just saying, I was going there like faithfully. You know? So, <laughs> we ain't going back there. I got a little turkey rolls in the back right now. But it's nothing like it was in 2018, y'all. Like, who child. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. May I have a small vanilla cream cold brew? All right, anything else? Yes, can I substitute the vanilla syrup for caramel syrup? All right, anything else for you today? Yes, one pump of toasted white chocolate sauce. Okay. One pump of creme brulee sauce. Okay. And one pump of chai. Right, anything else? No, ma'am. Thank you. So basically what I did was I split. Look, y'all, I still got one from yesterday. This is ridiculous. But no, I split. So this one is a venti, which is, I think, a medium in terms at... Um, Starbucks. So I got a small. Now I used to pay six eighty one for the venti, and this just came up to six twenty four or something. At this point, I could have just got a venti. <laughs> no, I'm trying to cut back though, for real. So I got I got half the portion. So hopefully it tastes the same, just in a smaller portion, which it should, because I usually get two pumps of everything with this one. So instead, I got one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you, you get me. You got it. All right, cool. No, that thing all day. Hey, hey, hey. Every time you swing my way, don't eat my motherfucking thigh. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. It's going to be 624. Okay. Thank you. Gotta make room for the new drink. <laughs> Thank you. Have a straw. Thank you. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. We gotta talk. We have to talk. So y'all telling me right now that that I just paid six twenty four. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me stop real quick. Y'all telling me I just paid $6.24 for this little ass shit? What is this, like a miniature? Look at that one compared to the Venti. And that's literally only 50 cent or... Matter of fact, I usually pay $6.81. My total was just $6.24. You telling me that that little ass thing... You know what? Fuck Starbucks, man. Fuck y'all. What's up, y'all? So, I just got out of the gym. Um, I didn't know the gym closed at 8 o'clock. Since when? I thought they closed at 10. I don't know if that's like a New Year's thing that they closing at 8. Or I don't know if that's because of, you know. <laughs> um, but they definitely just kicked us out the gym. Like, 
I was not done my workout, but that's my fault for not checking before I came here. See, that's why I usually come in the morning, because when you come in the morning, you ain't got to worry about these problems.